Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of cancer. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, tell me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of cancer. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you'll find the link in the description section. Just as a side note with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. All right, I scurried the pink gem for you today, and the image that showed up for you was uh, very interesting and coincides with the cards. So what came out for you was a cat. Cats have been coming out a lot lately. So it was a gray cat or grayish colored cat that was sitting and had like a broader size like head and was staring at me. There was not much definition to the face other than the fact that it almost looked like it had a human like nose, but it wouldn't fully come in. So with a cat being here, this could represent that there is someone that's being two-faced, someone that smiles in your face, but is really betraying you. This is like a false friend is what I'm picking up here. Now, lots of cards flipped out for you today, Cancer, so more than likely I'll have to make a second half to this reading, but as you know, I always do. Now, the next card out for you, or I should say the first card out for you today, is the Tower card, the Tower of Babel. So with this coming out, you know, it's very much like the Tower card in traditional tarot. But in this case, you know, it also has a little bit more deeper meaning because of the biblical tarot. Now, with this card coming out, this is representing that there's something that has taken place or is going to take place that kind of has uh, shook up your foundation a little bit. Now, with the tower card being here, it re represents sudden disruption, collapse of pride or ego, chaos and destruction, force change and new perspectives, divine intervention. So there could be something here that kind of like uh, crumbled, you know, and something that has caused, you know, like a tower moment within your life. And it could be this false friend that was smiling in your face that caused this tower moment within your, you know, your, um, your, your serenity and your peace. Now, the next card out for you is the Hierophant, and this came out sideways. So this is representing like a marriage. This is a by-the-book marriage here. This is coming out sideways. So this could be coming in very quickly for you, um, this energy. Now, the next card out for you is the Eight of Cups. So with the Eight of Cups being here, this is representing you walking away. And this could be representing walking away from a marriage or walking away from the Tower moment. So there's different ways to interpret this with the Eight of Cups. But, you know, this could be also the energy of what this false person wants you to do, wanting you to leave behind your marriage, you know, trying to cause a disruption within your life. And that was clarified by the Knave of Coins, and it came out in reverse. So with the reversal card, it represents, like, bad news, uh, bad news when it comes to, like, finances. You know, this is kind of like a negative energy of what this person is trying to cause within your life. Next card out is the Empress card in reverse, and this card rarely comes out in reverse. So with the Empress card being in reverse here, this is representing the energy of like lack this is like lack of growth you know and also has a double meaning here because you do have sacred tears which could represent you know needing to connect to your emotions uh when you need to cry cry not allow it to be bottled up with inside you so that could be a specific message for someone out there now the next card or not the next card but the other meaning to the emperor's card being in reverse could represent not only stagnation and lack of growth but it could also represent a issue with a female figure a mother figure within your life where she's coming out in reverse here she could possibly be the cat in this case you know, where there is like a false friend. So there could be like a problem with a toxic mother, a mother that is trying to cause like a tower moment within your life. Now take it how it resonates. Now the next card out for you is the three of coins, like my collaboration. This person could try to seem like they are in the same group as you, you know, like, like my collaboration, want the same things for you, want the same goals, want the same happiness for you. There's a possibility that this person is not happy with your uh, marriage. There's a possibility of that. Now, this might not resonate with everyone out there, so take what does. Now, the next card out is the Five of Cups. This is like mourning and sadness. So with this being here, you know, this could represent the energy that they want to put you in. And this could also be the energy that they are in because they're upset about you having this like uh, foundation. You know, they want to cause a disruption. Now, the next card out is the Ten of Swords. You're going to come out of this betrayal. You're going to come out of this heartache. You're going to come out in these financial, you're going to come out of this like financial difficulties. You're going to be walking away from all of those problems and you're going to have the Ten of Coins. And the Ten of Coins represents abundance. That represents, you know, happiness. And, you know, it represents, you know, good things and finances. So if you are having like an issue with finances because of this individual, you know, it is going to come to a halt where you are going to have, um, you know, like, happiness and new beginnings i believe the ace of wands came out for your overall energy 
No, more likely the video is going to click off before I can get into the more depth, but I'll see you in the second half.